Hello, today I'm going to talk about creatine loading, how the supplement actually works, as well as a few really nifty cool benefits you probably don't know about. Now down below in the description, there is a link where I'm giving away a free video-based guide on shopping for supplements, which is entirely awesome. Now when I say the word creatine, what images come to your mind? You might be thinking of some huge muscle builder guy, right, like, like the Hulk. The truth is the creatine can not only help somebody build muscle when strength training, but also get rid of some pesky body fat that they may not want. Um, even more surprisingly, it can help your memory, your bones, and even blood sugar levels. Also, which may shock you, is the creatine is completely natural. It's found in common foods like beef, chicken, fish, um, even our, our bodies actually make this stuff because it's very, very important. See, every cell in your body needs fuel to operate. It needs energy. The mitochondria of a cell is just like an engine of a car. And there's something called ATP in that engine. Now, this ATP stuff has three phosphorus cells, what well, you phosphorus molecules. And when it destroys one of the phosphorus molecules, it creates this explosion which creates energy. It's very similar to uh, like a burst in a gas, the burst in a car engine. Well, when that explosion happens, it pushes the piston up, creating the energy. Now what creatine does is give ATP another phosphorus molecule so they can be used again right away. I like to think of it like a, like a supercharger on a car. When it increases, it increases the horsepower of it. And when it comes to strength training, increased horsepower not only allows someone to lift more weights, thus build more muscle quicker, and uh, t t tons of studies prove this. It also, of course, helps with recovery as well. Now, as you can imagine, when you first start taking creatine, it's, it's going to take a while for all your muscles to get to it because you have a lot of muscles and you only have so much creatine to take. This is why a lot of people recommend something called creatine loading or simply loading up on the supplement at first. That, that way it saturates all your muscles and you get a lot more benefits. Bam, right there from the start. Now, after this loading phase, since all your muscles will have the substance, then you can kind of cut back on it and just kind of limit your, your dosage. Now, of course, you could take creatine without this whole loading phase, but it will just take a lot longer for you to see results, take, take weeks longer. And the question is, why wait this long if you don't have to? Now, be, between one to two weeks is a good range uh, on how this loading phase should be, how long it should be. The question how much creatine to take for this phase is really kind of best to follow the advice on whatever product you buy. They pr they're probably going to have some instructions on it. If there isn't any, then the general amount is between 15 to 25 grams a day. After the loading phase, a person should then go back to do the normal um, amount, the maintenance phase, some people call it, which is around 5 grams a day. So you may be wondering, okay, Kevin, I, I see how creatine can help me get muscles and build strength, but how in the heck does it help with weight loss? Well, that's a great question. Now, the logic behind creatine is that it does make muscles bigger and stronger, which what this does is enable someone to burn more calories, almost like increasing someone's metabolism. Kind of like when you're a kid, you can eat all the junk food you want and you stay skinny. My brother was like this until he was like 30, then he's being a little fat boy for some reason. I'm like, oh. So, now how it helps with bones, if you're wondering about that, is it actually increases the metabolic activity of osteoblast like cells. <laughs> I just confused that guy, right? <laughs> In a nutshell, with all that technical words, it's just a complicated way of saying it makes cells that make bones. That's what it does. Now, in Canada, to give you an idea of how it works, in Canada, they actually did an experiment on rats. They had 32 rats. They split into two groups. One, of course, re uh, received the creatine powder, and the other group uh, did not. There's no point of giving them a placebo, right? They're rats. <laughs> okay. So next, what they did, actually, they killed the rats, and they took the bones and tested them on machines. And the result was that 12% more force was needed to break the bones in rats that took creatine than the, the, the rats that didn't. And of course creatine can help somebody with brain power and as well as being very very smart and um, you, I know you're probably wondering, wow Kevin, how has he got so intelligent? <laughs> well, I'm spilling the beans now. It's 
my secret sauce, creatine. Now, if you're interested in getting creatine or any supplement in that matter, as I mentioned, I highly, highly recommend you click on that link and just checking out that, that free guide uh, that I created, video-based guide, as well as report about shopping for, for supplements. The fact is that in a lot of countries, almost every country out there, the supplement industry is pretty loosely regulated. Uh, this means companies uh, can do whatever they, what they want and don't have to ensure a product is safe before selling it. And as you can probably imagine, well, every year supplements do harm people and then the government officials try to recall them, which is not very simple. Now this guide can share with you a few of the top warning red flags and warning signs of a risky product. It talks about like herbal remedies to consider, what to avoid, it talks about what to take for certain ailments, um, even some online resources too, so it's a lot of information and it's free. So you gotta at least check it out. And I really appreciate your time giving it to me. I hope this video did help a couple people out there. Have an awesome rest of your day. Please leave a comment too within your thoughts and Till next time, cheers and later.